Hi, welcome to Aussie Target. This is just a quick preview video of an upcoming feature that uh, a number of people have been asking about, and it's to do with 3D tasks, in particular cakes and donuts. So, if I just quickly set up a, a cake as an example here, we select our waypoint and we draw our three rings. One of the problems has been that if I want to drag that waypoint around and reposition my rings, uh, it won't update the position of the rings automatically. I'd need to select waypoint to get the position data for the, for the new location of the waypoint and then draw my rings again. So it's not a big deal, but it's two clicks and it's a bit of jumping backwards and forwards around the screen to make it all happen. So it's, uh, it's not as smooth as it could be. So when this feature comes out, you'll be able to click follow waypoint. It will highlight the name of the waypoint and the grid coordinates of the waypoint, just to let you know that it's active. And now when I click and drag my waypoint, it detects that the waypoint's moved and updates the position for you. Now, because there's a bit going on in the background, this is only live, even though you selected here, when that particular task rings window is open. So if I go to a, a different task, it's now no longer monitoring that cake waypoint that was set up in task one. So if I move that, the position doesn't change until I go back to task one. Then it does its comparison and it goes, oh, it's moved, let's redraw our rings. Same thing, even though I've got that active here, if I close the task rings window and I now move my waypoint around, it's now no longer monitoring it until I open the task rings window and again it goes, oops, it's moved, let's redraw our rings. You can turn it off manually when you've finished as well, in which case it's now no longer monitoring it. So a very useful feature going to speed things up a lot. Uh, one of the other nice little things here is that if you've got your waypoint tools open and we select that waypoint we go move, you can use these arrow keys to move that waypoint around and if for example we put it right on a, a grid line, if we want to move up and down the grid line, we can do so with those tools and it will update the position for us. So that'll be coming out in the near future. I've got a bit more testing to do, a bit more cleaning up uh, to make sure that it behaves itself the way we need it to. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I think it's going to be pretty exciting if, uh, if I've got to position a cake. So hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.